if you aren't at your goal weight, if you aren't at uh, essentially your goal body fat or strength, it's because you you simply probably don't have the skill set at the moment. Skill set to get, uh, get the result and also sustain the result long term. And you might be listening to friends, family, you know, foes, um, your latest influence you, you swiped by um, on the social platform that you're looking at. And you're jumping from thing to thing when in reality you need to have one true source um, of knowledge to listen to and then execute. So I was trying to find really the right coach for you that fits in with um, you know, your plan and your constraints in life. And that's obviously why we coach dads. We understand dads, we understand the constraints of dads and we help dads and coach them through the process. Now, anyone listening to this today, it's like, don't switch off right now. If you're like, I'm not gonna hire a coach. This podcast isn't relevant to me today, but this is being coachable in life as well. Hmm. So take on this in a coachable mindset and be open-minded with this podcast because you might learn a couple of things that you can put into your workplace, your health place, and also your relationship on how to be coachable. So, yeah. Jace, why do you think people want to be coachable? Um, I mean, I, f- I don't feel like too many people want to be coachable before they actually in that <laughs> space. It's like that that um, that sort of barrier. It's like once you're through it, you're like, oh, okay, you know, I actually realize this is this is good. This is nice. Uh, most people don't. Yeah, they don't. They're not setting out like oh, I want to be coachable. But the um, the benefits of being coachable are probably more than most people actually realize, right? So being coachable is more than just doing what someone tells you to do. Um, you know, no questions asked. It involves a lot of trust. It involves a lot of patience. Um, it involves just um, you know, being willing to, I think the biggest thing is letting go of the ego and being willing to listen to and absorb feedback and take it on board and improve and get better. Um, the people who are coachable and the people who, you know, stay in a, a coachable or like a growth focused mindset, which we'll talk about a bit later on. We've probably talked about it three or four times on the podcast already, but people who stay in that mindset and they're willing to be coachable just get better results than anyone else like you don't see people like you know michael jordan not listening to their coach there's a reason he had a coach was to help him improve and get better and do better every single time like those people don't get to where they are without having a coach every single great sports person great athlete has had someone in their corner that's taught them what to do and they've been coachable they've absorbed every bit of um, information and insight that they can from that person and as a result they've achieved their goals faster than anyone else would have thought possible so if you're on the fence about or why do I need to listen or understand about being coachable? It's like, it's the thing that's going to get you the results because you don't know everything. And there's a portion of your mind, it's a portion of essentially information out there that you know you don't know. It's like, oh, I know that I don't know anything about uh, being a mechanic, right? Me personally, I know fuck all about it, right? Yeah. I'm, but I'm aware of the fact that I don't know it. But there's a whole region and most of the information in the world out there is stuff that you don't know you don't know. So if you don't know that you don't know something, be willing to be a student and have a coachable mindset and come to the, the, the table saying, you know what, I don't know that much about this. I'm really, I'm interested to learn. I'm interested to be open, take on board what's relevant and then leave the rest at the door. So that's kind of a couple of reasons why you would want to be a coachable person, because simply put, you're going to get much better results. Okay. You're actually going to get results compared to people that aren't willing to be coachable that are stuck in their way because you're doing the same shit you've already done forever because you're not willing to have a different perspective. You learned one thing once and then that was it. It's like, well, stuff has evolved in the last 10, 15, 20 years, right? Very, very rapidly. We're in the fastest paced changing environment in the world at the moment. It's like, especially with this AI stuff that's coming out, right? It's like day after day, they're releasing new things and new ways to use it and all of this crazy shit that's going on. If you think that the thing that you learn in a textbook or from someone you spoke to 10 years ago in a bar is still going to be fucking relevant, then you know, there's, you, got, you got another thing coming. So being willing to be open to what's new and what's changing is a big part of being coachable. And that's a big part of actually getting the result. 